Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a double whammy. Yeah, you heard me, a double whammy. Tonight I'm gonna be photographing the Pleiades star cluster, but that double whammy isn't gonna be just with pictures. You guys heard me, you guys already know what's gonna happen. Brace yourselves, because the Ryan Astro's coming over. My friend Ryan is coming over from Chicago to come visit, and tonight we are going to spend, and tonight we're gonna spend a night or two under the stars imaging our favorite targets, and I can't wait till he gets here because he should have been here like two hours ago, but you know. If you think it could be serious, bro, ask me to call emergency I wasn't or someone you trust. Ryan is stuck in traffic right now. It's taken him a very long time, so I guess we'll give him some leeway, but whatever. And you guys already know what's gonna be happening. The Astro 10 and Orion Astro collab has reunited itself, so stay tuned till the end of this video because it's gonna be a fun adventure. So come along with me as I photograph the Pleiades and Horsehead Nebula tonight with Orion Astro. Let's get into it. Guys, I'm gonna stand super ominously out by the door so when his car pulls up, he's gonna be frightened. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. I'm gonna have to set up my tripod here and I'm just gonna stare at him until he drives away. Just, just watch, just watch. Now look, he said 23 minutes until game time. When was that? 17 minutes ago, so you better hurry. Is that him? This guy just spotted a owl way over yonder. He thinks he's the main character. Look at this, look at this dude. Oh, that's insane, bro. Video comes in handy. Look, wait, no, look through the eyepiece too. So We're trying to, hold on. <laughs> We're gonna see, hold on. We can see the owl there. All right, Ryan, go. All right, <laughs> we got a little carried away. We need to get set up because the sun sets in an hour, so. We got a little carried away, but we need to get set up because the sun sets in an hour. Tell him, Tanner. You guys heard that. is 444 light years away from Earth, so it is pr Back to what I was saying. The Pleiades star cluster, 444 light years away from Earth, makes it a very close and big target for us to take a picture of, so very exciting. It's a reflection type nebula, and it actually consists of seven stars called the Seven Sisters. Now, these seven stars reflect a lot of dark dust that isn't primarily illuminated without these big seven stars, and that's one thing that you'll notice that is really cool about these type of space pictures. This dark dust is shown because of something bright that really lightens it up and illuminates it, so really cool. In this sense, the seven sisters or the seven stars are going to be illuminating the stars itself, making it have that really cool glowy look and also illuminating a lot of the dark dust surrounding it. It's really a whole type of crazy thing, and if you've seen a lot of dark sky astrophotographers take pictures of this thing, you'll notice that it is really wide field and really widespread, so I'm going to be taking a picture of a close-up version of this because my telescope can't really fit it. To take this shot, you guys have already known that I've been using my SV Boney SV503 for many, many shots, and this is no exception. Yo, yo, Tanner from the future here editing this video that's gonna be out very soon. As you guys know, Black Friday is happening right now, Cyber Monday is on its way here, and there is a lot of good stuff on sale right now, a ton of good stuff. And astrophotography related, a lot of this stuff is really cheap, <coughs> and right now I'm talking about those expensive astrophotography stuff, that stuff's gonna be like one to $200 off. In short, you guys do not wanna miss any of the deals on anything related to Black Friday or Cyber Monday, and this is a time that you guys want to get that stuff. 
We have a ton of SV Bonia products on sale, including my telescope and a lot of the things that I use for my setup, that stuff is on sale. If you guys want to check any of that stuff out or just need to make any Black Friday purchases or Cyber Monday purchases, make sure you guys use the links in the description because that will help me out tremendously with no extra cost to you guys. It would mean the world to me if you guys use those links. So make sure you guys at least check some things out for Black Friday because there are a ton of deals. You guys do not want to miss this stuff. I probably will be buying a few things as well, but shh. So make sure you guys check out those Black Friday deals. Thank you. Now let's resume to the video. Here we are. Fast forward. Chick fil A. Chick fil A. Our favorite place in the whole world, other than Cherry Springs in Trevor's house. This goofy kid left his car keys in the car. I'm on Tanner's camera and lens, by the way. This thing is tiny. Left his car keys in the car, bro. Shame. Shame. Is this it locked now, buddy? <laughs> Feast of Champions. Honest review of the Chick fil A. Post Chick fil A, how we feeling? Full. I'm ready. Full. I'm ready to go back. We're ready to go back in image. Talking about what this nebula really is in the night sky. We're, We're having a marathon. We are. We're having a marathon. Marathon. Dark times. Dark. Dark. Times, bro. Dark times. We're about to watch mine after this. I'm scared. Dark times. Bro's amount. EQM. EQM be it's like. It's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. <laughs> Bro's amount actually sounds amazing this time around. It's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. It's actually fine. You see how healthy that sounds? So no more. It's fine. No, it's actually fine. Until I drop it. Until he drops it again. Oh my god. Ryan, we're dead, bro. <laughs> oh, we need to bundle up. It is freezing out here. Now, Ryan is going to be shooting the Bubble Nebula tonight, and that is an outstanding choice on his end. And he's shooting basically all night because this thing is going to be up for the entire night, just like the Pleiades Star Cluster. His target is located in the constellation of Cassiopeia, and he is shooting narrowband tonight because he forgot to bring his L Pro. And you guys know that if you don't have a UV IR cut filter, you will get a lot of that softer image quality, which a lot of people don't like. So I can't believe how quiet it is already. It's a Friday night, and it's only a 1157. I mean, wow, it's already November. It is so cold and it was, feels like just yesterday I was out in these summer nights, but 90 more and yeah, it's just crazy. So let's get back into the backyard and go over all the things that I'm going to be taking a picture of with this thing tonight. And let's go over all the things that I'm going to be using to take a picture of the star cluster tonight. And I can't wait to see the final result because man, it is so clear out here. 10 hours of clear nights along with my sky that is completely open so it can't get any better than this even with the constellation of orion trying to tempt me to take a picture of it i'm gonna hold off for a couple months december is my time so let's get in the backyard All 
All right, so here we are in the backyard, finally imaging the Pleiades star cluster and the subs, as you guys know, are always looking incredible. Now you can see that behind me, I have my setup and as usual, I'm using my SV Boney SV503. This is a telescope that I've used for many times that I've been out here taking pictures. And like I said earlier, nothing is changing. So things are going to look great. I have high expectations for how my pictures are gonna come out and things are gonna look awesome. Now riding on top of that, perfecting my guiding and my star tracking accuracy. I have my SV Boney 50 milliliter guide scope along with my ZWO ASI 120 MCS. That's my guide camera and my guide setup that's gonna help me track those stars really good, make sure I get those perfect exposures. And sitting there, even though my mount needs a little bit of tweaking right now because it's not tracking that great, I have my iOptron GEM28. I then, of course, have my trusty Player One Artemis C Pro, my latest addition to the arsenal other than my mini PC, and this thing has been absolutely amazing. It's getting me those wonderful space images that I've been always dreaming of ever since I had this weird dinky stock DSLR so it's just really really good and to make sure my images are sharpened I have my UV IR cut filter in there making sure that it blocks that UV IR light so I'm not getting those soft images my images are gonna be sharp and there's a little hidden feature about the Pleiades star cluster which features a little tiny speck of a galaxy which I'm hoping that I can really get in some detail this time around because I've seen it before but hopefully we can get some good detail of it. As you guys can see right here, Ryan's setup is imaging the bubble nebula tonight, and wow, can you guys believe the size difference of our mounts? That is absolutely insane, right? He upgraded to this EQ6R, and it makes my mount look, well, I don't know, a little bit dinky if you ask me, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll upgrade to one soon, who knows? I just don't have the money for it, because you know, I'm broke. So anyway guys, I'm gonna just let everything run its course and hopefully we will get some work done tonight. Hopefully all these subs are coming in great because the sky looks amazing. Jupiter has becoming super tempting recently and maybe I'll take a picture of Jupiter tonight. We will see, but I don't really think I will, but we'll see how long I can hold off on staring at the Orion Nebula without getting the temptation to take a picture of it. So I will see you guys in the morning. Peace. Okay, so it is the morning time now, as you guys can see. It is cloudy, it clouded over over the night. So obviously me and Ryan don't do this all the time. He's getting ready to pack up his setup right behind me. But when we do do this, we have an absolute blast. In terms of the future for where we go next year, things are looking pretty bright for the both of us. And I'm so glad that we are so close to each other to where we're able to actually do this kind of stuff because a lot of people live a lot farther. I hope you guys enjoy the images at the end of this video. Mine, of course, being the Pleiades star cluster. That's gonna be all for today and time for the image reveal. Clear skies, everybody.